Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's video is a much requested video. It's my top 10 most complimented fragrances. Now I've made a couple of these videos before, but a lot of people have been asking me to do an updated video. So here it is. I really hope you enjoy it. Now these are in no particular order. I'm just going to show you the top 10. Now this first one is called Kashra 1 by Arabian Oud. This one is an oil. It's an ultra sweet fruity floral. You get delicious notes of juicy pineapple, tart pomegranate and yuzu blended very nicely with bright, fresh, crisp, watery flowers. I think people love this one on me because it works beautifully with my skin and it blooms so nicely when my skin is warm. So oils tend to smell different on each person depending on body heat, on skin oils and how differently your body uh, absorbs the scent. And this one just tends to agree with me and that's why I think people love it. The next fragrance is Love Tuberose by Amouage. This fragrance wears me so well. I was once approached by a lovely young woman um, asking me what fragrance I was wearing because it had filled the room with a gorgeous aroma. It was this beauty. Love Tuberose is a young and flirty creamy white floral and vanilla scent. It's sensual but cheeky and garners a lot of attention. On my skin I get a lush and nutty tuberose and gardenia scent with sprinkles of cinnamon and dollops of warm vanilla whipped cream. The vanilla envelops the white flowers in a way as if it were protecting them from ever drying out. To me, this scent smells like a plush and fancy wedding reception, decked with bouquets of exotic white flowers on each table and a white wedding cake that is decorated with pearls and white gardenia flowers. It's an indulgent, creamy floral dessert that you just can't eat. The next fragrance is called Josun by Daniel Josier. If you've ever smelt La Vie Est Belle or Flower Bomb, then you know what I'm talking about when I say that this fragrance is definitely in the same sweet, floral, woody, musk family. It shares the same DNA as those two mentioned. This fragrance gets me so many compliments. Uh, people tend to love this sort of smell in general. It smells like sugar-coated powdery flowers with a musky vanilla and praline floral base that projects so well and it makes it so easy to be noticed when you have it on. It's a very feminine fragrance. It's sweet, well-balanced and quite charming to wear. This one is called Miranda by Fragonard. This one has definitely been a popular one among the people. I have received a compliment every single time I've worn this beauty. So it's a sweet woody vanilla amber fragrance that also has a lovely note of coconut. I think this is a better version of Cashmere by Chapard if you've ever tried that one. And it's also very close to Ilangin Gold by M. Mikalev. It's just a very much cheaper fragrance to buy. It's such a beautiful tropical vacation type of a scent, a lovely warm and dreamy fragrance that just smells so so good. I love this one myself and people seem to love it on me. The next one is a very popular one. It's Intense Cafe by Montal. This one is my most complimented fragrance from this list. Now sometimes this fragrance can be unbearable for me and I really have to be in the mood for an ultra sweet scent for me to be able to enjoy this one. Um, it's just, otherwise it can be a little bit suffocating for me. So this fragrance is all about rose vanilla powder and a small dose of coffee. To me, it smells like what a Cadbury Turkish Delight chocolate bar would taste like. You get that rich creamy chocolate casing with a delicious sweet rose flavoured jelly on the inside. So imagine taking a bite of that chocolate while sipping um, your black coffee. So, And basically that's what Cafe Intense is in one mouthful. So you will definitely get noticed with this one. The lasting power and the sillage is 
huge. It's huge on this one. So you are bound to get noticed. The next beauty is Ombre Royale by Ormond Jane. I actually had two bottles of this fragrance and I ended up decanting the first one and giving the decants away to family members because they were absolutely besotted by this scent. It's a sweet and salty musky floral with a ton of ambroxan. Now ambroxan is a modern synthetic compound that has a white musk sort of smell and people tend to be able to smell it on you rather than you being able to smell it on yourself. So this one is a beautifully blended fragrance that is modern, sophisticated and quite simple in style. When I smell it, I get an image of crystallized flowers. It's crisp, bright and musky, jasmine, osmanthus and orange dominated fragrance that smells luxurious and people seem to love the smell of it. This one is called Narciso Eau de Parfum by Narciso Rodrigues. People tend to love either super sweet fragrances on me or ultra feminine florals. Um, I don't know if you've picked that up already, but some of these fragrances are extremely sweet or extremely floral. And this one is on the floral side. It's a very musky and powdery white floral with a woody base. It just smells so clean and so pure. The sweetness is exquisitely balanced. Um, so it's not overly sweet or, and it's just, it has a distinct sour note that keeps it from being too sweet. It's a perfect example of a, what a floral woody musk perfume should be. So when I close my eyes and I smell it, I just picture a small French cottage in the countryside surrounded by white French pottery filled with dainty purple and ivory and maybe white colored flowers. Now, this next one is called Eau de Moiselle de Givenchy Absolue d'Ange by Givenchy. I call this one my orange blossom and bubblegum cream filled biscuit scent. It's absolutely delicious. It's a warm, rich and delectable scent. And I can totally understand why people com compliment me uh, on this one. So the most prominent notes on my skin are orange, orange blossom, jasmine, sticky rice, honey syrup, and woods. It's a sweet and flirty fragrance with, an out with outstanding sillage and longevity. I really, really do love this one on myself as well. Not many people know about this fragrance because it's a flanker of the original and I'm not sure if it's been discontinued, but it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. The second last fragrance is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So this is a very popular one and I'm sure that many of you have heard that Rihanna likes to wear this one. So I had a bottle a long time ago but ended up giving it away because it was just way too sweet for me. To the point where it was suffocating and just so, so cloying. Last year I smelt it on someone as they were walking by and I instantly knew that it was this fragrance and it smelled so so nice on them so I went back and purchased a bottle now I only spray this fragrance twice on my clothes and so this way works for me otherwise it's going to be too much the amount of compliments I get on this one is unbelievable so this one smells like sugar encrusted orange blossom flowers that are then dipped in sticky caramel and vanilla syrup. So it does smell like a vanilla dessert drizzled with a good amount of orange blossom water syrup. You'd have to really love your sweet scents to be able to appreciate this one. And I'm guessing that most people do because they absolutely go crazy when I wear it. The final fragrance is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum by Maison Francisco Gian. Yet another popular fragrance that everyone seems to love on me. So the Extrait version does smell different than the original on me. The Extrait seems to go straight to the dry down of the original Eau de Parfum. So I don't get a fizzy champagne like note that is present in the uh, top notes of the EDP. The extrait just literally smells like I've been wearing the Eau de Parfum for about three hours. 
So every time I wear this one, people are always like, oh my gosh, who smells so good? You know, it smells so delicious. Again, it's a very sweet one. It smells like cotton candy, burnt sugar. It has a musky, salty crispness to it. And it also has a smooth, silky feel, which, um, which has a slightly nutty texture as well, I find. So people do compliment me on this one quite a bit. So there you have it guys, these were my top 10 complimented fragrances. Uh, so as you can see from my list, nearly all of the ones I mentioned today are on the extremely sweet side. And I think these types of scents are the ones that work best on my skin in particular. A lot of people seem to love foodie smells and I mean it makes sense who doesn't love to smell delicious scrumptious desserts. <laughs> so have you tried any of these fragrances? What do you think about them? Let me know and let me know what fragrance gets you most the most compliments. I'd love to know in the comments down below. So that concludes my video guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.